Bordeaux and Saint-Étienne, two teams looking to make up ground on the leaders, met at Stade Chaban Delma on Thursday night, with the hosts looking for their first league win since mid-November and the visitors looking to bounce back from a 1-0 home defeat in the derby against Lyon. Lever had their first opportunity in only the second minute, as Roman Hamuma got away from Benoit Tremolinas and fired on target. Cedric Carasso got down well and managed to tip the ball behind. An early warning for the hosts. With around 60% of possession, Saint-Étienne came forward again on the quarter hour mark. Hamuma took advantage of some lax defending and squared for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who attempted a shot from the edge of the area. The Gabonese international's effort was just off target and he might instead have squared for the unmarked Fauzi Goulam. Shortly before the half-hour mark, Joshua Gilavogi chipped forward and Obama Young had another chance from the edge of the area. This time, a side-foot volley that was just off target. Saint-Étienne creating the chances but lacking precision in front of goal. The first half's best chance came when Bordeaux once again gave away possession cheaply. Goulam, showing superb awareness, attempted a lob from 25 yards out, and Bordeaux was saved by the crossbar. A wonderful effort this from the Franco-Algerian, who has played for the France under-21s, but is set to join the Algerian national squad in the near future. Bordeaux holding on. Nil-nil at the break, with the visiting fans refusing to let their spirits be dampened. In the 55th minute, Gregory Sertic thrashed in a free kick for Bordeaux, and Johan Gouffre managed to get a shot away, but without sufficient power to trouble Stefan Ruffier. In the game's final minutes, Bordeaux launched forward and substitute Jussier tried his luck from outside the area, but the ball rolled rather timely towards Ruffier. All in all, the combination of inclement weather and heavy pitch made this a rather scrappy affair, a shame giving the attacking potential of the two sides. Nil-nil at the final whistle, which leaves Saint-Étienne in fourth and Bordeaux in fifth, with both teams five points adrift of PSG and Marseille.